first live stream welcome you got your vaccine today happy to report no reaction yet red rex good good mr nyman thank you for 10 months uh the boy thank you for 10 months do you need symmetry in space you need symmetry when you launch <laughs> no you don't it's just a design aesthetic really i think we'll start i quite like the idea of having the solar panels well away from where the people come into dock think of it that way accidents bad things can happen otherwise so i think we'll we'll just build something there and then extend this way what i actually want to do is i want to um i need to check the science actually because i want to go to the moon today uh we've already been to the moon but there's lots to explore we've actually got something an experimental station over there grinding a bit of science um, but I want to get into the whole refueling thing. So I don't know if I've got enough stuff unlocked yet, though. We might have to go there and do some more exploration or... Yeah, we'll look at the science tree in a sec and see if we've got the drilling, that kind of thing. What I'd like to do is have an orbiting station over here um, with refueling that's gathering resources from the moon. And then you can launch rockets here, go to the moon, refuel, and go somewhere else. And then, you know, I quite like the idea of that. Yeah, I don't want to do that, Lord Winter. I, I literally can't be bothered to do that. I'd have to look through the International Space Station and try and build it. Just People have done that on YouTube. Like a pit stop. A bit like that. Um, but yeah, because that allows you to, put it this way, it allows you to extract fuel from the moon and then fly into to here. If you fly it here... And, and have big fuel tanks here, you can then launch rockets off Kerbin that have no fuel in them, bring them here, load up on fuel, and go away. Which uh, gives you more possibilities. Because then you don't need to launch from Kerbin with its high gravity, relatively high gravity, because you've, you've brought the fuel from the moon instead, which is a lot cheaper. You can do it on Minmus, but Minmus is a bit of a pain. It's just like such low gravity that it's a real pain. Whereas I think the moon strikes a, a reasonable balance. And it's not too far away. But I'll land on the moon station so it can mine ore and turn that fuel and bring it up. That's what I said. So that, that's exactly what I said. So a, a lander will have a, a small base on the moon where there'll be some kind of drilling operation that will translate the ore into fuel. And then there'll need to be a transfer rocket that goes between the moon's surface and the moon's orbit. And then in the moon's orbit, we'll have something a bit like what we've got here, another station, which can um, have the fuel stored. So the transfer rocket can go backwards and forwards with fuel. And because the moon's gravity is quite low compared to Kerbin, it's not too expensive. And then you have um, another transfer rocket that runs between these two. So it moves all the fuel from there to here, which we're very 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 cheap to do um and then that way you have this station has lots of fuel that came from the moon that then gives you all kinds of possibilities to create rockets from Kerbin that take off with with little fuel and then refuel at the station and then go off uh so yeah exactly that <laughs> mr swaggy that neatly brings us back to step one so one of the things that we do need around the moon in that case is a scanner i think i think you need to have a scanner in orbit so that you can then look at the moon and um i think you get an option here to look at the resources i've, and I've not really looked at it that much but i think you need a scanner in orbit around the moon which i believe we have unlocked so i was thinking maybe what we could do is um take this first node that we put in orbit here i think it was all that wasn't it take that put a scanner on it and send that to the moon as, as a step one that way we've got an orbiting base at the moon which has comms um solar batteries that's everything that this has not this bit but it has all of this and it has a scanner and then that way it can start scanning so I need to look at whether the build that we did could get could get us to an orbit in the moon because I can't remember how much fuel was left when we got it here. So that will be step one in a way. Um, but also we need to look at um, what tech we don't have. Because if I don't have the advanced fuel stuff, we can't do the ore yet. But we do have 500 signs. 
Not streaming the CRJ a wise choice. Heavy streamer is stuck on config screens or loading screens or a broken plane jimbo. I heard like Cat Straighter had problems with it as well. I which I find I'm not really sure what's going on. Um I don't think they do either. Um the build that they sent me worked fine. But um I've heard of people who bought it in the marketplace who have problems. No, I don't, Matty. My, my <laughs> You saw the video, mine works fine, but I didn't get mine from the marketplace. I know, I've talked to Cat Straighter about it. I know he's not happy. Yeah, I genuinely don't know um, what the problem is, and I don't think they do either. So anyway, uh, let's jump down to the uh, Space Center. There's a ready-made scanner satellite, also the science mod is called X-Science. Science mod? What's the science mod? Um, R&D, here we go. There's something that we need. Is it there? What is the actual... The thing that does the mining. Advanced fuel, is that it? Rocker Max Jumbo. Large volume containment. There's like a converter tron or something. A thing that converts the ore and there's a drilling machine and I don't know where it is in this tech tree. Uh, we could try convert. What a great search tool that is. <laughs> nice. Hang on. Oh, it highlighted this. Oh, here we go. Oh, it did actually. The search tool does actually work. It just subtly highlights things. So if you, if you do convert, watch this. You press enter. And it kind of very quietly puts a box around something. The one tells you about signs you can do. Oh, uh, okay. X signs. Uh, so, yeah, if we click on advanced uh, advanced science tech, it says, what does it say? Drillomatic Junior. Drillomatic Mining Excavator. A radial holding tank. Yeah, this, this is literally what we need to do it. So, we need 550 research. We only have 580. So we need that to do the mining. So um, we need to get more science from the moon, really. There's places, there's lots of places on the moon we could go just to get more science. There's also something down here. Fuel cell array, recharge battery pack. Power electrics. Okay. Do, 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 do. Have you landed on bodies on the moon in the moon? Yeah, that's the two we've focused on so far. Um, medium term would be Duna, probably. Have you done all the science on Kerbin? No, we haven't. Um, I think we've done the shores, the water, the high orbit, the low orbit, and we've done all the bits and pieces around here, around the base. But there's still badlands, desert, grasslands, mountain, highlands, tundra, and ice caps. So... How did you get so much science from the moon and members? Just skill. Just, just pure and simple skill. We got loads. Like, literally went to Minmus and got 1,600 science. In one go. Went to the Minmus again and got like an... I think we did a 1,400, a 1,900. Just pure skill. That's all it is. I mean, you know. That's what you're here for, right? That and sarcasm. Right. I don't know. We could we could start faffing around uh, Kerbin trying to get signs from here. We could bounce around Kerbin. Um, in something. We could we could build a reusable rocket that just potted around. Um, grabbing science. We could take off and land in different areas, I guess. You're here for the food talk. I don't blame you. Uh, maybe we take, we take the Brighton 6, and then just remove that for a second. So, you know, there's parts of this that we could potentially, we could just remove a lot of stuff off this and use it as a rocket to just take off 
go to different parts of Kerbin, land, and get the science. Well, we could we could build a plane also. That's the other option. But planes have to be landed. <laughs> and also I need to remember how to use the whole intake fuel system, thrust, central lift, all that kind of nonsense. It'd probably take longer to do that than it would to hack together something. Just put some wings on the mouse ve like vehicle you had. <laughs> You reckon that'd work? I I think planes are harder to do. They require a lot more requirements. Um, but landing one of these on Kerbin is no mean feat either. Let's get rid of all that. Extend the legs. So, you know, in Kerbin, that has a thrust to weight of 1.15, which is not huge amount. Delta B, 3,700. We could perhaps change this to four. We probably don't need these storage tanks, I would suggest. Um, because we're not really going to be using a lot of this stuff. Actually, I, I, I don't know. If you... That's a very interesting question. If you go and land... Parachute landings work. That's true. If you go and land somewhere in Kerbin, like let's say we went to the North Pole and we took some of these solar and science units, presumably we'll get continuous science back. You can land and get science off the island airfield just a few minutes flight from here. True. Bizarrely, that's not listed as a target in this spreadsheet. I don't know, do we just go and get the one of science or do we try and get more than one of science? That's that's the question I think I'm asking. If we're just trying to get one of science, we'll ditch all of these things. SCJs, thank you for five years, mate. I need 50 to unlock the fuel thing, but, you know, I'm not too concerned. Yeah, we're going to go to the moon soon, Nightbird. One of signs can be done quickly, yeah. A bit more efficient to go back to another planet, larger amounts. Uh, well, we'd have to go to the moon f to do it, because uh, the moon's the place that we don't have. I mean... I mean, yeah, you make a valid point. If we just landed on the moon <laughs> and got the signs from there instead, we could actually set up another... Yeah, let's just do that. Uh, don't save. Let's just do that. We know this thing is capable of going to the moon. Um, and back. It does come back, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> so let's just go to the moon and just land in any one of these ten places. We'll do. Teppo, thank you for five years. Did you land on the moon or did you crash on the moon? I landed on the moon. How dare you? Right, the Brighton 6 is moon capable. Who's in Who's in the uh, crew here? Bob and Valentina. Interesting. We need the scientists. We need the pilot. We need to get some more people, actually. Which biomes have we landed in the moon so far? The Midlands is the one we've been to. And that's where we've got a science thing, which we can do again. If we go there and put these down, we'll end up with even more science coming back. Oh, the RCS is a good point, actually. We don't have any RCS on this. I don't know if we need it. I, I, it didn't need RCS last time. Um, I don't know. RCS on Mimus is extremely useful because it's very low gravity. Um, if you want to stick... Let's get rid of this a second. Very, if you want to stick RCS on this, you'd need an RCS tank somewhere, which I don't think we have on board. Science tuner, container module, fuel tank. And also, I mean, this is the landing stage, isn't it? So... You'd need to put it on here. 
It's kind of hard to put RCS on this because of its. We have three engines, not four. So it's hard to get them the symmetry going, which you kind of need for RCS. I think we'll just go. We'll just go with as we are. Let's just see what we can do. Let's go to the moon. It'll be fun, they said. Thank you, Teppo. Thank you for five years. Uh, let's go for a 90k orbit will do us. What a lovely spaceship. Do you know what I should do? I should put some fairing back on. <laughs> Otherwise, it won't be a lovely spaceship <laughs> for very long. <laughs> uh, build fairing. shall do. Uh, Jody Raccoon, thank you for 45. Uh, another month of great entertainment. Quite addicted to this game after buying it last week. Ooh. Uh, Banner. It's... We, we could stick another leg on there, but... You know. Plant a yacht's flag on the moon. I actually need to upload some kind of logo because I remember in Kerbal Space Program there's a folder somewhere, I think it's like a flags folder. You can put a bitmap in there and if you put the bitmap in there you can choose it as a flag uh, inside the game. I need to do that at some point. Look at it throttling down. How incredibly efficient of it. Hey Poppy, is it me or have you got the hype train conductor this time? <laughs> Twitch just seems to give it to random people now. Four legs is only more stable if you land on a perfectly flat surface. Um, I mean, yes and no. Like, it's it's a tricky one, isn't it? It's a combination of things, but you manually replace yours. I can't remember if this thing ditches the fairing itself. I seem to remember something went a bit weird last time. Uh, slow UFC Josh. Thank you for a year. There you go. It's doing it again. I think it's trying to spin around to a maneuver node or something. You got any fuel left? Coast into the edge of the atmosphere. We'll leave it. Uh, Josh, thank you for 12 months. Uh, just got back into Twitch after watching your snow on live streams on YouTube. Currently 40 episodes in. Yikes. Yeah, we got quite far on SnowRunner. Hambone, thank you for 53 months. Doing okay here, thank you. SP2 is in development, but it's not going to be this year. It may not even be next year. Who knows? No, there's, there's nothing. Nothing confirmed. We just know that the target's in 2022. That's all we know. Change the development team. Oh my god, that's never a good thing. Uh, 
that'll just fall back and detonate. You want GTA 6? <laughs> I can't imagine... I can't even begin to imagine what GTA 6 will be like. I, you know, it'll be like GTA 5 when it finally hits PC. It'll just... It'll just destroy graphics cards. Alrighty. We are now in orbit 90k. Let's target the moon. Uh, what do you want? Maneuver planner. It'll be like the last one, just with higher specs, worse bugs, and more hackers in the online. It's an unfortunate thing these days, but any online game has hackers. I don't think you can ever get around it. Kind of what Red Dead's still doing. Yeah, Red Dead, unlike GTA, Red Dead's online just kind of tailed off quite rapidly. I think part of the problem with Red Dead is just the setting. Like, there's only so much you can do. Like, with GTA, they can bring out, you know, endless amounts of vehicles, cars, motorbikes, aircraft, helicopters, you know, you name it. They can just keep releasing stuff. In Red Dead, what are you going to do? Just release different colored horses. There's only so much you can do with the player in a in a setting such as it is. You now that keeps the game fresh, doesn't it? You still waiting for your chrome horse, yeah. Special attack is to just blind the enemy. <laughs> Reflect the sun and blind the enemy. Just a Yankee Wraith, thank you for double top. 40 months. Red Dead needed map expansions. Well, I mean, the map they gave you is already pretty big. Like, it's a huge map. Lots of places to roam around the current map. But what they need to do is just plot lots of things on it. Lots of things to do, places to go. But that's what I'm saying. Like, the, their options are limited to keep the game fresh compared to GTA. Like, GTA map has never changed. Like, it's it's still the same map. But they keep the game fun and interesting by adding lots of content. Turn it into from dust till dawn. What, as in, like, a, a zombie? I mean, if they made it more of a zombie survival thing, that could be an, that could be an interesting twist. But whether they want to go down that direction, I don't know. Just, like, release a plague on the world. <laughs> I can't remember what altitude we went for last time. What kind of altitude did we go for um, on the moon? Was it 10? Oh, we went for 20 last time. Oh, 
It's not doing it, is it? I think we had this last time. Can we only do that when we're getting the sphere of influence? I can't remember. I think you have 10k selected right now, not 10,000. Oh, no, no, 10k. Yeah, that's right. That's what we want, 10,000. But it's not executing it, but I can't remember why. I can't remember if we have to get to, to here before we do it, even though, because create and execute doesn't do any. It says 19 meters per second, but I don't know when it's going to do it. So it's immediately saying T plus 4. Unless it's already done it, and I just didn't notice. It's either that, or it just can't. It's an electric charge problem. Ah, it's an electric charge problem. Yep. That's what it is. We've got solar on it somewhere. I'm surprised these... These little solar panels are facing away annoyingly. That's why they're not getting any power. I'm pretty certain I put a solar panel on this thing. Where did I put it? There it is. Uh, space station's not finished as such. Yeah, we got power. Electric charge. There we go. Yeah, we'll build more stuff on the space station later. Want to do moon things as well. Right, then let's see what we got. That's not the correct approach at all, is it? Maybe we just go for circular rise. So we can't go for circular. We need to change our apoapsis. Sorry, periapsis. To be 10k. It was slightly off with its calculation, so it didn't quite give us a 10k apo. It gave us a crash into the moon type apo. Circularize. Yeah, it could be, Dennis, yeah. It could be because it did the burn a little bit late, yeah. It's like a minute late with its burn, so it was off. I sh what I should have done was, when we got the electric charge, I should have deleted the node and made it do it again. So I think it was my mistake. Oh, that 10k looks very low. What's the highest point on the moon surface it should be okay but crikey that looks low Let's get around into the uh, sunlight. Wow, look at that. Our uh, experimental control station 
is now on the dark side of the moon, which means it's it's not going to be doing anything at all for quite a while. Because it's like on this side. <laughs> so until that has gone around. It could be a long time before it sees daylight. So we're definitely not landing there. Yikes, we actually look like we're going to hit this. Right, what do we want to go for then? isn't it where you can pick a target right so that would be the east far side crater we could go in there yeah we won't be landed in the midlands uh we've got the canyons the highlands there's the midlands god birmingham's everywhere look at this the lowlands east far side crater is probably the easier option Set up a science station there. Actually, it makes sense to set up a science station on the opposite side of the of the moon to this. And that way, whenever this is on the dark, this is on the light, so we're always getting science. So maybe we should go far side crater. I think that would make more sense because it's it's more or less opposite to that one. So that way we've got one experimental control station facing towards the sun. So when one's dead, one's active. So let's go uh, far side crater here. Let's go like... Anywhere here. That'll do. Get a lag near the, the closest Starbucks. Yeah, okay. Uh, pick target, show landing predictions. Land at target, land somewhere. <laughs> Deploy landing gear, yes. Deploy parachutes, no. <laughs> so we'll land there, grab all the signs we can and then get off. That's the plan. Should have got 2,200 Delta V at the moment. Which reminds me, I should fire up my browser with the Delta V chart on it. So the moon takes 580 Delta V to go from orbit to surface. So I need about 600 to land. And then 600 to get back off, plus what we need to get back to Kerbin. So we should be fine. Quick F5. So you're actually over the giant crater, but you look at this and you wouldn't know it. You would not know you was in a big crater. I'll have to take over the final landing because it always gets it wrong. I don't know if it'll make any difference, to be honest. Benna, I, really, I don't think it'll... Because it doesn't have any RCS. It won't do anything. The solar panel was fine last time. I get more worried about the suicide burn. I don't, I don't like it when it pulls crazy stunts like that. 
SF joins. Walker back. So this is what I would class as a suicide burn. <laughs> Which is by far the most efficient, but only a computer can really do it. Hey, Pix. That's a pretty good touchdown, actually. He says as it bounces. Okay, we are in the far side crater biome. Safe and sound, so we're good for science. Yeah, she's always a little bit bouncy wobbly on the moon. I mean, you, you look at that. You can't really get a level surface. That's the problem. You can bring four landing gears, but it's more weight, so. Observe the mystery goo. Some material study. 100 science. Nice. Let's get a temperature and pressure reading. If I can actually find the thermometer on this thing. It's up here, annoyingly. Log the pressure data. Log the temperature data. Right. Uh, let's get the lights on. Electric charge is good. Jack Sparrow, thank you for 11 months. Uh, right, Bob. Let's go for an EVA. Actually, we can transfer... Let's pin that. EVA Bob for a second. Don't need the parachute. So we can put that in there. Keep his RCS for now. Wasn't there a spare RCS on board? Yeah, I don't think we're not in space right now. Uh, cigar chimney, thank you for 46 months. Can he carry... No. He pretty much can't carry anything. All right. Let's take that data. It's got all the data from that lot. Right, five experiments stored. So it's got four, that's got one. I thought we had seven last time. Two goo. Temperature and pressure. Was there something I'm missing here? I thought we had more. I thought we had seven. Now, the golf you can only do once per planet, but I thought we had seven lots of science. I'm trying to think where we got the other two from. Unless it was like on the way down or something. Hmm. Ah, oh, the EVA and surface sample. Thank you. Yes, because there's um there's a crew report you can do. Which will give you 20 signs from him. And then 
he can do a EVA report and get 32 and a surface sample 120 there we go that's better that's more like it there we go they're all stored good can take the data out of the pod as well So I've got two in that one, four in that one, that's six. That's eight in total. And then we just need to go down on the surface and set up the others, the other stuffs. Right. Right, so he's had to take his EVA off, but that's fine. Uh, you not got your checklist? Nope. We'll do it over here. Get the power down. Of course he fell over. <laughs> of course he fell over. Of course he did. You have a whole bunch of calculators. I'm not sure what we did at the moment, Bigfoot, to be honest. Um, what have we got here? There should be some more... stuff we can move down now maybe Hey, hello. Yeah, we've got a transmitter with us, so we're all good on that. Well, this guy has enough science to um, get the uh, the mining operation tech unlocked. D Camel, thank you for twenty one. That came fast. And then after this, we're going to bring back some kind of orbiting station here, just to get it going. I'm a bit worried we don't seem to have enough solar panels right now. I thought we had like three or four on board. I'm seeing EVA, EVA. There's not enough to deploy the radio at the moment. I'm seeing lights. There's definitely solar panels missed here. I've got a feeling the last time we launched the Brighton 6, I removed some solar panels because we didn't need to take so many and I didn't bring, I didn't recalculate. So I think we're actually a solar panel down right now. Which is a bit of a problem. 
So we can run the radio and one experiment. <laughs> Unless I've put them somewhere else and forgotten, but I don't think so. There's nothing inside here. Yeah, oops indeed. Oops. You have more lights higher up. Yeah, I don't want... There's no point bringing lights out, Benner. We have no power. I needed more solar panels. Yeah, I'm, I, I think there's a... There's probably like a... A shop nearby that we can go and grab another solar panel from. <laughs> And actually looking at this, is that the control station? Yeah, this this is full on rip. This is a control station, power needed three, power available two. So it requires power, the radio needs power, that's two, two solars. So basically this won't do anything because I didn't bring enough power. <laughs> rip. This never happens to NASA. Ah, yikes. Oh, well. Um, might as well deploy the lights and stuff. There's no point taking them home, is there? Can't believe that. Right, before we launch... We need to check cargo, guys, before we launch. Because this is an expensive mistake. the keys for this? J L H N I K J L N H okay. So I can't actually lower it. Fine. Does it work without the satellite dish? It may do given it's the moon also and all. It's probably worth a try. I wonder if I can disable it and see what happens. Maybe just turn it off. In before I land on the, on the actual solar panel doing this and just crush it. <laughs> yeah, i got four golf sets. Four lots of golf clubs in case anybody wants like a four-player golf on the moon. Reset, disable part. There we go. So we turn that off. And we can't disable. Oh no, the lights are on, so that that's fine. Wait, what? Now it has a, enough power that the real question now is, can this thing function? Also, we've only got a seismometer. There's actually another piece of science that I could have brought here. Uh, thank you, SF Jones. I don't know what to say. Mistakes were made. I thought I dragged that light to the backpack. Clearly I didn't. Oh god, I've... Oof. I thought it was landing on it. Can't even blame the weekend, no? No, that was just... Complete noob error. Okay, that's all we can do there. Wait, I can get that part, can't I? I think I can extract that. Nah, Bennett, it's fine. 
We'll, we'll take the we'll take the pain, you know. You got to learn from your mistakes. We'll take the pain. Maybe have a quick game of golf before we leave anyway, just because it's fun. Oh! Nice shot. Left himself just beyond the bunker there. Zero signs. <laughs> Keep the experiment. <laughs> You reckon it's in the sand? I reckon it's in the dust. Tucker dive, Bob the footballer, look at this. Oh, my knee, ah, oh, rolls around in agony. Referee, referee, it was a foul. Okay, I'm fine. Uh, take surface sample, pick up the moonstone. That's the one we want. Zero signs. Return this to have it analyzed and gale all the information. You see, if I could get that back to the, the space station lab around Kerbin, we would get a lot of signs for that. And this is where if we have an orbiting station, we can get some fuel and get back to the space station because I could get back to Kerbin, but I wouldn't have enough to orbitally dock. But if we could, we can grab some more fuel on the way out. he's back I had some experiments in some rocket cargo but I don't know if it was this yeah I think there's nothing there's nothing left on board that we can do that we haven't already done still got a decent amount of science we'll be fine Right, let's get that saved. Um, it's kind of hard to tell which way is east. We don't need a flag here though, do we, Miko? We've already got a flag on the moon. I don't think we need a flag here. Plants a flag here with need solar panels. <laughs> oh my god. Boy, well, just to remember that I need to come back and put some solar panels. Oh my life. It needs more than solar panels, that's a problem with it. It I mean it actually it does need more than that. You sell Valentine has not been moonwalking much. Yeah, we can fully build it up later. Uh, if we stick a flag down. This is the far side crater, isn't it? Uh, let's see. Moon far side. Far side crater. Need solar. And more equipment. Noob. Okay, good. 
I do. Yeah, I need solar. Please send help. <laughs> Amazon drone delivery will be dispatched. Big bad boy. Thank you for one and a half years. There you go. Flag down. Ready for takeoffs. Figure out which way is east. Should probably put. it wants maneuver planner oh it's return from moon isn't it that's what we need return from moon approximate final periapsis 50k Nineteen hundred Delta V. Uh rip. That ain't gonna work. Why would you do it there? What the heck get why would what? One second. <laughs> it like went right past the Apo and went, let's go down here, back to the surface and do that. Uh no. <laughs> Wait, what does it look like if you create the node from the surface? I don't know what it does. It's doing something. I'm not exactly sure what. No, you don't need to circularize. That's crazy talk. What we need to do is probably get it when we're back here. So what we'll do is we'll remove the nodes. See, ah, you see, we're turning in. We're turning in, that's a problem. We ain't getting enough Delta V to circularize. We need to just pump straight out of here and go. That's what we need to do. I need a, like a direct east apple and just break out and go straight for it. Not taking us east. Really hard to see what it's doing. Well, that's just, I don't know. Do we have to circularize? This is weird. This won't end well. We'll be fine. There we go. That's how you roll. Yeah, I know it's saying that we need to circularize, but it's a, it's just a waste of energy. I've done it before. I've just if you get your apple high enough, I think you need to get it high enough so that you escape the moon and then it can calculate it. But if you circularize, you're just wasting delta v. 
because you don't want to get into an orbit. Let's see what it does. Let's see how well this goes. <laughs> Circularize or they will die. Ooh. Let's see if we can not let them die. Okay, right. Now we're just going to escape. Get the influence back to Kerbin. Right, let's see if we can change the Perry now. 100 Delta V. Hundred and twenty two Delta V, let's do it. London dark side. Let's just go pro grade. 49k. Do you reckon we're going to bounce? I reckon we might bounce a 49k. Let's um let's go retrograde and use all the thrust we've got. We've got 200 delta V left. Bring that down. <clears throat> yeah, th we don't care about the solar panel. It will get detached anyway shortly. All right, that's brought that down. Then what we'll do is we'll go probe, right? And we'll detach. Retrograde. That'll burn up and blow up in a sec. That may go for another orbit. It may go off and then come round and come back again and die. I think we're going to go for another orbit because we're, if you look at our vertical speed, we're minus 15 meters per second, but we're about to start going up. There we go. Now we're positive again. So yeah, we're going to bounce. Yeah, you'd be surprised that like, those security lights have incredible thermal properties. The Brighton 6 probe. <laughs> it's taken a slightly wider orbit, look. <laughs> it's going to come back around. Actually, can we change to the Brighton 6 probe? I can't remember. Switch to. I think we can, you know, because it's got a a guidance unit on it. No way. Point it retrograde. Point retrograde and just get it to burn off. It's 63 delta V. There you go.
It'll just come straight back in and crash now. That's an electrical charge. Not very good. There we go. We almost ran out of electrical charge. That wouldn't have been good. Still coming back for a dark side landing. Actually, if you look at the Brighton 6 probe, it's gonna land here somewhere. We're gonna be uh we're gonna be going around a little bit more. Let's see how we get on this time. Oh, Valentina, like compared to Jebediah, Valentina's, um, I don't know, I think she's a little bit more crazy. Like she's really happy about this. Yeah, we're going to get a capture this time. We're definitely going in this time. I can feel it. I wonder where we'll land this time. If we're really lucky, we'll get a different biome. Oh, is that the hills? There we go, we're going in. If we was to land in the highlands, that would be ideal. We won't have all the science stuff, but we can do a sample. It looks like we might be going to the highlands, you know. Or maybe just land in, a, in the middle of a town. <laughs> just create a massive crater on the high street. Actually, it'd be really convenient if we landed next to an electronics store. We could just pick up some more solar panels while we're there. 